We came here in 1993 when my husband was called as president and we had young preschoolers at the time and it was not at all on my radar that I would ever be starting any type of program that was not my training or my background. But in the Lord's providence, as, as the Lord began to change the faculty here and bring faculty wives who could come alongside me and help me to fill a need that we began to see from student wives who were asking us, would we mentor them? Would we meet with them one-on-one, -on -one? which there were a whole lot more of them than there were of us. The idea was birthed for Seminary Wives Institute. That's when Mrs. Moeller had, had the idea about having a program to equip seminary wives at Southern. And she had the vision and was so excited about it. And she shared it with a couple of us and her contagiousness just affected us so that we were just as excited as she was to try to put together a program to train seminary wives in ministry alongside their husbands. We wanted to do a very well-rounded program that covered anything we could possibly think of that they may encounter that was a challenge in ministry or something they'd need in their tool belt as they began to work in their churches and in the community and even in their homes. We held an open house and hoped that women would show up and they did. We had 85 women come to the first informational meeting and then when we started the semester in the fall with, with classes, we had full classrooms of women who were eager to learn. And the students coming out of the classroom, I could tell right away this was an important and valuable program. We could just see how SWI filled such an important need. I, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, but the attendance has been extraordinary, I think. The, the desire to take these classes, I didn't anticipate how popular and sought after these classes would be. That's a joy. When I, when I realized, you know, they're making an effort to come, and when they're there, I'm, I sense they're, they're interested, they're engaged. And that's us something late at night when um, many of them have been watching children during the day and they're tired, but I've always experienced great receptivity from the students. I always leave so pumped about the truth that I've heard. And so even though I've grown up in the church and maybe I went to Bible college and maybe I know a lot of things in my mind, but being able to get to experience it from maybe a new angle or a professor who's dedicated his entire life to studying this very specific topic is what just like gets me like really excited and, and then going home and, and talking to my husband about it. I'm convinced that if seminary is not a shared experience, ministry is more likely to not be a shared experience either. I've seen such excitement on the faces of these seminary wives. They love learning the things that their husbands are learning as well. It gives them shared vocabulary, and that experience really helps us educate the whole family for the glory of God. You know, it's not just send us this preacher and, and we're shaping him and sending him out. It's like, send us this ministry family. My wife, Tanya, teaches the marriage and family class, and I have had students literally stop me in the hall and say, would you thank your wife for me? My wife is better in ministry and in marriage because of what she learned from your wife. And also, you know what they get in essentials class. It has been to me one of the best things about Southern Seminary that when married couples come here, they're gonna have a tie that binds their lives that I think is powerful and unique and will last really through the course of their ministry. One thing that I have appreciated about the opportunity to teach in SWI is those hallway conversations before or after class. That's when a student will come up and really share what's on her heart, ask for advice, ask for prayer, ask for counsel. These have provided wonderful opportunities for mentoring, for friendship, for relationship. Those are sweet times, and I treasure the memories of those. So I'm so grateful for SWI and all of those opportunities. I've also seen how our students form really close friendships. There's just a connection. They're in a similar season. They don't know what the Lord has for the future, but they're looking forward with great excitement and anticipation. And they just become such good friends. Friendships that last for a lifetime. I knew nobody, and I thought it's gonna stay like this for a while because I'm not taking any classes. It's different than my husband, he's going out there getting to know others, and I'm staying at home. 
So seminary wives did open an opportunity to get to know other ladies. We had deep talks, we got to cry together, laugh together, and share God's work in our lives. So SWI did give us that opportunity to have that friend that we all need. I'll get uh, emails or phone calls or run into women who have been at SWI some 25 years ago, and they say, you have no idea how much that class that course, that program has radically impacted my ministry, my home, my life. And they say, we still use much of what we learned there. And we reteach it to the people that the Lord's put in our life. And I just think, what an incredible, fruitful, faithful ministry this has been. For over 20 years now, my husband and I have ministered in churches, and just recently we have planted the Georgetown, Kentucky campus of Emmanuel Baptist Church in Lexington. The Seminary Wives Institute was very valuable for me. Otherwise, right now, in what I've experienced in our ministry, I probably would be over in the corner in the fetal position. It's always been in my heart of what they taught me back in those days. I have a good memory and uh, I've kept my notes. And I've always referred back to a lot of what I learned in Seminary Wives and applied it to my ministry today. As we celebrate the first 25 years of SWI, I would want Mrs. Moeller to be honored. Mrs. Moeller worked nonstop, and she has for 25 years. She's worked nonstop to try to keep everything going orderly and effectively and to impact uh, their husbands and their ministries. She knows these families, these students by name. She knows their spouses' names. She knows their children's names. She knows their pets' names, <laughs> but she's very, much embraces the whole family and helps to minister to the whole family and help the whole family have a successful life here on campus and encourage their ministry beyond once they leave. I would want her to feel like her life is gonna carry on forever because of her start of this program and her investment in it, and her investment in students, her investment in the faculty, and her investment in the kingdom of God. A quarter of a century is a long time to have poured into this program. And the faculty wives who join me in doing so continue to do so with delight as we see the Lord bring forth fruit from this program. And we just believe in what we're doing. And we couldn't do it otherwise. We volunteer our time and we do so with joy. And we do so because we firmly believe that the calling to be a ministry wife is a high calling. I'm grateful for the legacy 25 years as a significant accomplishment. But at the same time, I think it's a challenge to continue to train lives of seminary students practically, theologically, biblically. That's a great calling and I hope we continue it. It is more important now than ever for us to continue this mission of the Seminary Wives Institute as the Lord sends us students who are eager to prepare for service alongside their husbands in what is becoming an increasingly hostile battlefield. So we're more resolved than ever to prepare them, to equip them, to excite them for the high calling that they have alongside their husbands to take the seeds of the gospel to the ends of the earth.